always like to get the view of the man in the cockpit. How does she fly, son? The vehicle performed within expected parameters. Woohoo! Sorry, sir. I couldn't help but get caught up in Teok's enthusiasm. Upon completion of a flight test program, we hope to deploy the X-301 as an orbital defense craft under your command, sir. In all seriousness, if that's all right with you, Colonel, how effective can a single fighter be against a potential fleet of Goa'u warships? That is what these tests endeavor to determine. Let's find out. What's next? I take second seat for an air-to-air -air live fire test. Our SGC control room will serve as mission control. Light that candle, boys. Yes, sir. Does General Vadrine wish us to perform some sort of candle burning ritual? Yes. That's it, exactly. Go digger one. Proceeding to target area. Copy that. You go for phase two. That's them. The X301 is equipped with stealth technology. Normally, it wouldn't even show up on radar, so we've installed a special transmitter for the test. These blips represent the target drones. 301 is carrying two AIM 128 air to air missiles. Major, are you suggesting a slammer missile would be capable of taking out a Gua Ul mothership? If it's armed with an Aquita enhanced warhead and modified with a shield frequency modulator, yes, sir. Experiencing atmospheric interference. Major Carter. The glider was setting up to attack the target drones when it accelerated into a steep vertical climb. It's off our radar. We're attempting to reacquire traffic. Are you saying they've gone into orbit? I'm saying they're heading straight out into space. You said the 301 was capable of space flight. Yes, sir, it is, but that wasn't part of the test. You know, Teal couldn't do this intentionally. There has to be something wrong. A malfunction. Must be, sir. Get me the shuttle action officer at Space Command. The shuttle won't be able to reach them, sir, unless we can find some way to turn them around. That's all we've got. We've got NASA's deep space tracking looking for the glider now. Now, with the DSP and NORAD data, they should be able to get a hack on it and hopefully restore communication. 